Just imagine your loved one. Could be your wife, could be your son, could be your daughter, could be your father, could be your mother, could be your uncle, could be your brother, could be your sister. Anybody that you know you have a connection with went to another country and they learnt another language and that language you didn't know you didn't know what that language was and they hadn't had contact with you let's assume there's no internet Allah let's assume there's no internet no email right so you're waiting for the post no contact no contact one year passes two year passes no contact like it used to be like it used to be, right? People call it snail mail, like it used to be. And then suddenly, you receive this letter from the person you love. And you open the letter, and it's in another language. It scribbles for you. You don't know where the sentence begins, and you cannot even see where the sentence ends. It scribbles. What will you do? What will you do to understand this message from somebody you love, that you have not heard from, from a very long time. What will you do? You will rip open the envelope, you will unfold it very, very quickly, you will be in a huff and a puff, and you will go insane looking for somebody, please, please, somebody translate what my loved one wants. Translate what is the situation of my loved one. You don't know who knows. I will go to him. You want money here? Translate for me. You will do whatever you need to understand that message. Why? Because it's come from somebody you love. And here we are, dear brothers and sisters. Here we all are. We sit in day in, day out. The Quran on our shelves. The message, the letter sent by the King of Kings. The Lord of Lords. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah azza wa jal. Al Malik al Mulk. Who sent us down the message. The entire message of Islam. The message of how we should conduct our lives, our curricula, our criteria. Translated in various language you could even see. But do we even, do we even dedicate one hour a day, 30 minutes a day to understand what the one we claim to love has told us? Knowing that every harf we read, not word, every letter, whether you struggle or you don't struggle, whether you can do the ayn or the da or the da or the ta, whether you find it difficult or not, do you make that effort to memorize, read, understand, dedicate, and translate that message into your heart from the one you love? How long are we going to wait? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, and has come to you the warner. And the Mufassirin explained what is the warner. Some of the ulama said the warning is the gray hairs on your body, on your face, on your beard, on your hair. What are we going to wait for? What's the pause button on for? What are we waiting for? What's holding you back? The news is that interesting? The satellite dish is that absorbing? You're that tired? This is the letter from the loved one. This isn't like any of the speech. The comparison, like I said in the hadith, between the book of the speech of Allah and all other speech, all other books, all those Google documents and millions and millions of speech on this planet, compared to the book of Allah, is like Allah compared to His creation. This is the Quran, dear brothers and sisters, that we find ourselves so distant. Alif Lam Mim Sad Kitabun Unzila Ilayka Falaya Kun Fi Sadrika Harajum Min Huditun Dirabihi Wadikralil Mu'mini
Allah.